Happy Wednesday and happy Valentine's Day, everyone. So excited to be here. I am trying something new today. I found out that I can go live from my desktop and Instagram at the same time. So I'm gonna try this. I know people have been doing this probably forever, but you know me in tech. It's not like my zone of genius. So I'm trying this for the first time. Hopefully it works. Um, it's funny because with Instagram, you just see this little picture, and then with Facebook, you see the whole wide picture of messy house, toys in the background. Um, but I'm just excited to be here with you guys today. I'm here. Messy, wet hair and all. Well, not messy, but just wet hair and all. Hi, Sue. Happy Valentine's. Great to see you. Let me know if you guys are here on Instagram or Facebook. I'm so excited to share this morning with you. I've had a busy morning so far. I drove Turbo to daycare. This daycare is about 40 minutes away. And then brought Annabelle over to date her daycare. We brought treats in for all the teachers, Turbo's teachers and Annabelle's teachers. And I am enjoying one of my favorite things from Dunkin' Donuts, guys, coffee roll. I don't know if any of you guys have had these before, um, but they're my all-time favorites. And, of course, my coffee. So I've got lots of good stuff for you guys today. So, yeah, my hair's wet. It was either come on to live with greasy hair or come on to live with wet, fresh hair. So I chose the latter. Um, if you're there again, please say hello. We're going to get started in like a minute or so. I've got lots and lots of fun stuff for you. I'm so fired up because I had our weekly blog post to talk with you guys about, about manifesting and my take on manifesting. And then I listened to a podcast this morning and I'm just like, uh, it was the per it was like exactly what I needed to, to, to hear this morning. So basically I got a new phone um, last week and needed to transfer everything over from my old phone. And when I did that, all of the old podcasts that I had downloaded like way back in the day somehow like just came up on my phone. So things that I had like put aside but never listened to before. So this old podcast popped up from 2016, two years ago, from Elevation Church. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Pastor Stephen Furtick. And um, it was called, I'm gonna give you guys the name of the sermon because it was just incredible. It blew me away and it has like everything to do with what we're going to talk about today. I was driving and I was taking so many mental notes, um, trying to like remember everything I was hearing and then like, hi Brooke, great to see you. Good morning. So happy to see you. Um, when I would stop at like a red light, I would do a voice note to myself because I'm like, I need to get all of this goodness and share this with you guys this morning because there's a reason why two years later, I get this message today. And when I first hit the podcast, I'm like, oh, this is two years ago. Like, I don't know if I really want to listen to this. I want something fresh and new. And then something said, just listen. So again, this um, sermon is called the Capacity Challenge. And for those of you who are Christians who are non-Christians, like this is for everyone, okay? This is not just for people who have a belief in God because this is just powerful stuff about mindset, about abundance, and about doing the work. And um, my whole thing, I'm going to actually share my blog post with you guys. Let me get the link. Um, those of you on Instagram, I will, I don't think I can share a link with you guys um, because I don't have 10,000 followers yet. But I'm going to pop it into the Facebook one. And I'm also, I want to see if I can share this in the Confident Ladies Club as well so that you guys can benefit and hear this as well because this is some pretty important stuff we're going to talk about today. Um, I can't believe that we're already in February. Like, where does the time go? I have no idea. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to share this in the Confident Ladies Club. And for some of you, it's like, wow, a month has passed, and why do I still feel stuck? Why do I still feel like I'm not doing um, the things that I really want to be doing? I'm not focusing on the things that I really, really want to be focusing on. 
I feel like I'm getting in my own way. So I'm sure that many of you are feeling like that today. And I want to tell you that you don't have to. All right, let's just make sure this is, yes, it's going live. Okay, cool. Because I want to be able to answer questions on all of these different platforms. Guys, this is big for me, okay? I don't normally multitask, especially in um, technology stuff. Um, but we're going to try it today. All right, so my blog post this week was all about manifesting your dreams. And we tend to hear people talking about manifesting all the time, right? So, and I talked a little bit about this on the Facebook Live last week, but, you know, put an intention out there, think about it all the time, write it down, say it out loud, and then you'll see your dreams happen. Well, guys, a lot of you are not going to like what I'm going to say because the way that I'm going to say how I believe manifesting happens, it actually takes work and it actually takes action. Um, and I don't believe that just sitting down and writing out your dreams and saying it out loud um, and even praying to God, just sitting there and saying, like, God, please help me manifest my dreams. Help me make these things happen. He's not going to answer that stuff unless we go and we take the action. That's so important, and that's the whole piece of manifesting that so many people forget, and so many people are really disappointed because you're like, uh, I'm doing all the things, like I'm talking about it, I'm um, saying as if it's already here, it's already present, but it's not happening for me. Like, why? And it's because, guys, you're not taking the action, okay? So my simple formula for you guys for manifesting, it's really easy, guys. It's number one, okay, and I put this in the blog post just setting the intention. So like everyone says, saying it out loud, writing it down, telling people, acting as if it's already happening for you, okay? But then number two, taking the action to work towards that goal. So you've got this business you wanna launch. You have a podcast you wanna launch. You have a book you want to write. So for me, that's what I've been working on. I've been working on this whole book thing. And guys, it's a lot of work. And if I just sat here and like wrote about it and said, hey, I want to um, publish this book and not have done the work, not have sent out the query letters, not have written the proposals, like there's no way in heck that that's going to work, right? It's not, it's not going to happen. There's no way to just sit here and manifest it. You've got to actually go and take the action. So if you're here and if you agree, give me a high five, give me a, a heart. I'd love to hear if you guys agree. Some of you guys may disagree with me, and that's fine too, okay? Because this is just my this is just my take on it. This is what I believe manifesting is. Um, so it's taking the action, it's doing the work, and it's putting 100% in, okay? It's not just saying like, I'm gonna do a little bit of work and see where it goes. No, I always say guys, in business, in anything in life, in relationships. Hi, great to see you, Nat. Um, you want to either do one of two things. You want to either commit to it and put 120% in, or you want to just quit. Because being in the middle, like being lukewarm like that is the worst place to be. And I had a conversation with a client about this yesterday that I said to her, I was like, I think we got to do one of, one of two things. We either got to say that we're going to commit to this or we're just going to quit because being in the middle, it's hurting your confidence because you feel like you're not accomplishing anything. You feel like you're not getting anywhere. And the reason for that is because we're not putting the action into it. We're not putting 110% into it. So that's what happens when you're lukewarm, when you're in the middle, when you're not taking the action, but you're not quite like quitting yet. So I want you guys to pick one or the other, either commit to whatever it is you're doing, a relationship, a job, a dream, a business, whatever it is, commit to it or quit. Um, and then once you put a, if you decide you're going to put 120% in, do the work and then say, God, I surrender and then go pray and say, God, this is my intention. This is what I'd love to happen. This is my dream. Oh, Natalie, that's fine. Don't worry. Don't ever apologize for language guys. Um, sorry for the language, but a great book that talks about that is un -F yourself. I will just say that. Um, I don't mind when people swear. I usually don't swear. Um, but yeah, I've, I've heard very good things about that book, Nat. So thank you for sharing that. Yes. So if any of you are interested, um, 
I actually, I'm interested. I want to, I want to take a peek at that book. Um, cause I'm curious what they have to say about getting stuck and like taking the action and either committing or quitting. Um, so once you've done that work, then you can say, God, help me. I surrender. I've done the work. Now it's up to you because I've done what I can and there's nothing else that I can do anymore. Yay, Heather's here. Hi, Heather. Good morning. Heather is in the Confident Ladies Club and she has the cutest dog. Cutest dog. You guys know me and puppies. Um, so then you go, you surrender it and say, God, not my will, but yours, okay? And then you let him take over the rest, okay? And you say, like, I've done the work. I'm releasing it. And you have to then, this is the hardest part, guys, is detach from the outcome. So sometimes what we believe is best for us is really not the best for us. It's really not the right next step for us. Um, and you know that whatever's supposed to manifest and happen is going to happen. And whatever is presented with you to you after, just believe that that's the right next step, okay? Even if it feels discouraging, if it feels like, I didn't pray for this, I didn't want this to happen, like, why am I given this now? You're given it for a reason, okay? And I always talk about redirections. Um, it's not about like not getting what you want, it's about being redirected to a path that's gonna help you get to a place that you're supposed to be. Um, so many times in life, gosh, I've been disappointed in this whole book writing process, guys. I've already, I've only submitted three query letters, and I've, I've already gotten three rejections. And you know what? I could say, that's it. I'm done. Like I'm never, I'm not writing a book. I'm not good enough. Um, no one's ever gonna take my proposal. You know, it must just be a terrible book. It must be a really bad idea. But guys, that's only three no's. Okay, that's three no's out of how many? How many possible agents are out there? There's thousands of agents. Many people don't get, many people have been rejected literally hundreds of times before they get a yes. All right, so I'm not gonna give up. And I know that there's a reason why those people didn't choose me. And I, and that's fine because I'm not supposed to work with them. There's a reason why it's taking longer than I maybe had hoped it to. And guys, it, here's the thing, when we look at the grand scheme of things, we feel like these things are taking so long and forever, and they're really not, okay? Like, I just started this book proposal not too long ago, and I just started sending letters out. So, like, I can't expect everything to happen at once. Um, so, I'm just curious if you guys have any thoughts, any feedback, um, anything. Before I tell you about this sermon that I listened to and this sort of, this podcast, um, because this is just powerful, powerful stuff. And I actually first want to say also, happy Valentine's Day to everyone, my men, my women, everyone who's there. Um, some of you, I sent out my last batch of these affirmation cards in the mail yesterday. So some of you who have signed up for them and you did not receive them yet, um, I, I slowly had a few more trickle in over the last couple of days. Um, I took my last stop to the post office to get more stamps yesterday and sent these out. So what these are, are my full abundance affirmations. These are here to help you guys get into an abundance mindset, okay? So easy to get into lack, to get into scarcity, and just having this little card, this can really change things, guys. Just having these simple reminders. I know personally, um, when I first started my business, I had this... Um, card from the Laura Casey shop and it had like all these different scripture verses that um, sort of like helped with doubt and helped with fear and insecurity and I would just look at that from time to time and I would feel so much better. I also have, I don't know if I have them with me, my little business cards. No, I don't have any with me but they say if God is within her, she cannot fail. And I just keep that up there and I would just look at that. So those of you who did not get one of these in the mail, I still actually have a bunch left. I ordered more. So if you want one, you can still sign up, katecrocker.com forward slash snail mail. I have extras. I will send more out even though it's not Valentine's Day anymore. I would love for you guys when you get these to take a picture of yourself, post it on social media, tag me so I can repost it and we can spread the love, guys. Because I have more and I want to share more with people. I keep like moving this all around. Sorry about that. 
But anyways, for those of you, because you know what, I can only um, send these in the U.S. Um, so those of you who are not in the U.S. Um, or those of you who just don't really want the physical version, you just want a printed out a version you can print out yourself. If you're on my email list, I sent it out this morning. I sent you guys a digital copy. Um, but these just have, it just has a whole bunch of different affirmations that I've used, I've created for my clients over the years. Um, basically, like, they're just, they're simple, but they're powerful. Like, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be today. How easy is that? All of my answers are within, and deep down, I know and I believe this. Because, guys, all of your answers are within. They're nowhere else. I know we look for all of these external sources to give us our answers, but they're always within. And I keep learning that more and more. Heather says, for me, it's letting go, part, do the action, do the work, then detach from the outcome. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. Yay, Heather got her card in the mail. Awesome, I'd love to see a picture of you. Maybe even the puppy, picture of the puppy with the card. That would be so fun to see. And yes, Susan got hers in the mail too. I saw Susan snapped a picture. Actually, she made this beautiful graphic for us guys. Um, the beautiful picture of herself and then the card and I reposted it because she just did a wonderful job creating it. Um, so, speaking of doing the action and putting the work in, this sermon that I listened to this morning, I took a whole bunch of notes. I had mental notes. I came home, and you have two puppies. Oh, my goodness. She has two puppies now. And I, like, wrote all this stuff down because I didn't want to forget. And I'm just going to go through these bullets because these are so powerful. And, again, if you want to hear the whole sermon, it's Pastor Stephen Furtick from Elevation Church. And it's called The Capacity Challenge. And it's back from, like, 2016. Um so powerful. So number one, the number one point was how do I know what my capacity is if I never challenge it? Right? We're afraid. Like, how much can I really handle? How much can I really do? And we just sit here and we think about it and think about it all the time, but we don't actually go and do anything. We don't challenge it. So how do we actually know? Like, back in the day, I would have thought like, this is my capacity. Like, I can't go any further than this. Like, I can't go any further than having a private practice. Like, I don't think there's anything else out there for me. But I didn't know that until I challenged it, right? Until I went out and took action. Number two, how do I know what I'm capable of if I never get beyond what I'm comfortable with? How good is that one? How do I know what I'm actually capable of if I never get beyond what I'm comfortable with? Right? If we keep staying in the comfortable, we're never going to figure out what we're actually capable of. We're just like, all right, going about our day, like, this feels good, this feels comfortable, I'm content, I'm going to stay here. Um, and doing that, how do you know how far you could actually get? Staying comfortable is not going to serve you, and it's not going to serve other people either. Um, number three, what if you convinced yourself you can't do but really you just don't want to do. So this is a big one because um, literally I have people say to me all the time, I they're like asking for suggestions. I give them the suggestion. They're like, oh, I can't do that. Like, there's no way. I can't do that. And I'm like, why not? And it's really because they don't want to do it. They know it's taking work and they don't want to do the work, okay? And sometimes we got to do the work, right, to see the outcome. So. What are you just convincing yourself that you can't do, but maybe you really can do? But maybe it's just because you don't want to do it. All right? Number four, you say you want to be changed, but you don't want to be challenged. No challenge equals no change. Okay? So I want you guys to remember that little equation. No challenge equals no change. So if you want to change, if you want to grow, if you want to see your business expand, if you want to see relationships bloom, you've got to be challenged. It's not going to be easy. You can't just sit back and just think everything's going to be sparkling unicorns and butterflies and a happy ride, okay? The people who are who have the most beautiful and full lives are usually the people who have been the most challenged in life, right? The people who have the, have reached the most success have had the most difficulty. Um, the next thing is number five, it's only when you challenge your, 
your capacity that you discover your capacity. It's only when you challenge your capacity that you actually discover your capacity. So I always thought I'm only capable of being right here. I'm not capable, capable of going above that. Well, I would have never have known that unless I challenged it. So I'm constantly like right now where I am today, like, right, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable where I am, but I know feeling comfortable is not a good thing because it means I'm not challenging myself. So every day I try to do something that scares me a little bit more. And today it was something silly, guys. It was trying to go live on Facebook while I'm live on Instagram, going live on my desktop. And that's new for me. So that's my challenge of the day today. Like sometimes it's something very simple. It doesn't have to be something huge. All right. Anyone else agree? Anyone else there who agrees? Let me know. I'd love to hear. Um, number six, how can you be content with your capacity when you serve a God who can do immeasurably more than we can ever imagine. All right? How can you be content with your capacity when you serve a God who can do immeasurably more than we can ever, ever imagine? That's from Ephesians 3.20. Okay? So for myself, you know, I have a relationship with God. And I know, like, he's done huge things, right? All of the stories in the Bible, all of the things I've seen manifest for other people. If I'm content where I am, it's not going to get me anywhere, right? Because I know he can do so much more. I know he can do even more than what I have right now. So I have to keep believing that and keep filling my mind with that. Um, number seven, how many of you are doing something today that you never actually thought was possible? I bet every single one of you, right? You're doing something today that way back in the day you were like, oh, I can't do that. I'll never do that. That's too uncomfortable. That's way past my capacity. Like, I'm not capable of doing that, right? All of these things, guys. I used to be so afraid of doing videos, okay? Actually, I, when I think back now, I was so afraid when I was in grad school, listen to this, I was so afraid of leading groups, um, therapy groups, because I have, if you guys don't know, I have my degree in psychotherapy. I have my New York State license. I practiced as a therapist for several years. And um, in all of the grad school classes, I would literally like run to the bathroom when the teacher or the professor was like, all right, we're gonna do groups today. I need someone to be a group leader. I need people to be participants. We're gonna get in a circle. We're gonna practice groups. I'd run to the bathroom. I would just leave class because I was sick. I was so petrified of it. Petrified of speaking, all right? I still know, like I'm still afraid of speaking in big groups of people. Like it scares the crap out of me. But I know that with God's help and grace, I'm capable of it. I'm capable of doing so much more than what I think I can do today. And the only way for me to get there is for me to get uncomfortable and to challenge myself. And that's how I'm going to manifest my dreams, right? It's by taking the action. It's by getting uncomfortable, taking those steps. Heather says, I was listening to Joel Osteen yesterday. He talked about God will exceed your expectations. Yes, I love that. And he'll exceed them if you believe that he's going to exceed them. Oh, Sue, you're so sweet. She said, I'm an excellent speaker. I really appreciate that because this is something that, um, oh, somebody wants to be live in the video. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know how I feel about that yet. Uh, Z Renner Michael. Yeah. No live people yet. Um, but yeah, it, it was something that would scare me so much. Okay. And even when I started this online business two years ago, I was like, I've got group therapy down. Like I feel really comfortable. I know I'm good at it. Um, but going on video, I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if I can lead groups on video. I don't know if I can do group coaching that scared the crap out of me. I don't know if I can do masterminds and guys, I have my mastermind again. I love doing group coaching. I love leading my mastermind coaching calls. It lights me up. And again, it's because I got comfortable taking those uncomfortable steps. Um, but if I would have just sat here, twiddled my thumbs and said, 
I want to manifest my dreams. I want to be a good speaker. I want to get comfortable. Happy Valentine's. I want to get comfortable um, speaking in front of groups. I want to get comfortable running masterminds. God, please help me. I'm praying. I'm writing this down. I'm saying it out loud, but I'm not actually practicing. It wouldn't have happened, guys. I had to take those small steps to actually practice. So practicing little by little by little is going to help us get to that place. Heather says, well, we ask for this thing, but get even more than we expected. Exactly. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. He always, always knows, 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 knows what we need. Um, the last one here is we say, I would if I could, right? How many people have said this before? Oh, I would totally do that. If I was capable of starting a business, I would start a business. I would speak if I could, if I was a good speaker. So that's what we tell ourselves. But what faith tells us is I can if I will. So you can do this, but you have to go do it first. Like you'll be capable of doing it, but first you have to go do it. So we say I would if I could. Faith says I could do it if I would do it. So it's about being willing. It's about being willing to do the things that don't feel comfortable, um, make us really uncomfortable and just not, you know, just take us out of that comfort zone. Again, God is seldom early, but never late. I love that. So, so true. So true. Heather says, yes, get uncomfortable. I feel like I get stuck on what I should be doing right now. I get so stuck in my own space. Oh, totally. All of us do. Like, here's the thing. When you start telling yourself, I should be doing this, I have to do this, or I need to do this, these are three words you need to cut out of your vocabulary. We don't need to do anything. We don't have to do anything. And there's nothing that we should do. Because when you put those words on it, it just makes it undesirable, right? But I get to do these things. So I get to run a business. I get to be a mom. I get to um, drive my dog to daycare. Like, that's that's a blessing, right? That my dog can go to daycare. Like, why should I sit here and complain about it by driving him? No, it's a blessing. I get to do these things. Um, and I think the things that we think that we have to do, we need to do, we should do, they're actually things that we can usually just cut out of our life. And for the mastermind I'm going to be running, I actually created a training the other day on cutting, clearing out the clutter, getting rid of all the junk, because again, we think we need to do all these things. And this is what I talk about it in the mastermind is like, we often think I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do that. But you don't have to do any of it. And the perfect example of is running this mastermind, launching this mastermind, um, Guys, I don't have, I didn't have a launch plan. I didn't have a sales page. None of that stuff, okay? And people would tell you, you need to have a sales page. You have to have a launch plan. You should um, have something to share with people. But I'm a perfect example of doing it my way and just saying, I don't need that. I don't have to have that. I shouldn't need that. All I have to do is just show up and say, guys, this is what I'm offering. This is how I want to support people. If this is for you, you'll know it. Okay? And that's how um, my friend Lacey and I, we ran our retreat. We launched our retreat last year. It's the same way. You know, we think so many times we need all the things. We've got to do all the things in order to be successful. And we don't actually need that. All, all this is about is just showing up and being open and being willing. Okay? So I want to challenge you guys with that today. If any of you guys have questions, let me know. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything in the Confident Ladies Club. I don't see any comments in there. Sometimes they pop up after. So I apologize if I miss them. Um, so what I want to do today is I want to invite you guys. If any of you are willing and wanting to take those steps and you know I have bigger things that I can do if I can just get past my own head, if I can get out of my own head, and get out of my own mindset, my negative mindset, my negative thinking. I know if I can let go of that stuff, like, I could have what I desire in life. I could manifest those things. 
And I just need someone to keep me accountable. I need someone to, um, reminder, one hour until 10 a.m. Oops. Just lost you guys for a second. There we go. Um, reminder popped up on my phone. So all those things are possible, guys. But you need accountability. You need someone to help support you. And that's actually, that is something that we do need, right? Like there are certain things in life we need. Like we need to drink water. We need to nourish our bodies. We need sleep. We need people to support us, to give us um, love, to give us wisdom, to help us along in our journey. And if that's what you're looking for, I want to invite you guys um, to please fill out. I'm going to, I can't post it in Instagram, I don't think, but I have a application to fill out for the mastermind. If this is something you're looking into, I'd love to get on the phone. I'd love to talk to you guys about it and share with you what it is. That's all. Share with you how, talk about your goals, talk about how I can help you get there um, and how we're going to go about doing that and all the logistics. It starts in March. Um, so we got a few weeks left, actually just a couple weeks left. Um, but all you have to do is go to katecrocko.com forward slash breakthrough, fill out the application, and I'll be in touch with you. Again, katecrocko.com forward slash breakthrough, and I will be in touch with the application. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here today. Again, I love what uh, Nico said. God is seldom early but never late. Remember that, okay? And remember also... We say, I would if I could, but faith says, I could if I would. I could do this if I was willing to do this. All right? Be encouraged. I love you guys. Talk soon.